Pecos girls basketball team's title hopes were literally on the line with 0.1 seconds left in regulation of the Class 2A state championship game. Mescalero Apache had just driven the length of the court in the final six seconds and scored the tying points on a shot under the basket by the Chiefs' Pearl Pike, who was fouled on the play. After a lengthy review, the officials added 0.1 seconds to the clock and Pike stepped to the foul line for the chance to live out a scenario many kids dream about. The Lady Panthers' fate was in the hands of the Chiefs freshman, and after the five-foot guard's shot bounced off the back iron, the Pecos players took advantage of their newfound life. After shooting just 22% from the field in regulation, the Panthers connected on six of eight shots from the field in overtime to pull away for a 53-46 victory. While the Pecos boys basketball team has won back-to-back -back state titles and is going for a three-peat on Saturday, this is the first state championship for the girls program. Um, I kept telling the girls that it was our year to shine and that it's our time to win state because the boys have it. And I think it was just time for the girls to finally shine. With both teams struggling from the field, neither team led by more than five at any point in regulation. The Lady Panthers nearly doubled up the Chiefs on the glass, out-rebounding their opponents 60-34. to Sophomore Trinity Herrera had 14 points and 11 boards, while senior Cassandra Muller added 9 points and 8 boards. Senior Brittany Martinez had 22 points, and fellow senior Faith Flores added 7 points and 13 rebounds. Gosh, that means so much for uh, Pecos and the community and, you know, the fans and everything. And uh, for me, you know, I, I enjoy it too, but, you know, I enjoy these girls more, so, you know. It was, it was a great run this year, and uh, they worked so hard, and, uh, and they're here.